Praise Yahweh, Saints. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, Saints. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Is Yahweh good? All the time. Is Yahweh good? All the time. I just want to thank Yahweh for bringing us all to the house. Yes, amen. amen. Let's all stand and rise and bow our heads and lift our voices up to Yahweh. Hallelujah. Start off with prayer. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for this wonderful day that you've given us, Father Yahweh. Thank you for the many blessings to allow us to come into your house once again, Father Yahweh. That we hear words that are commanded of you, Father Yahweh. That we hearken to what is being said tonight, Father Yahweh. We ask that you just speak through the bishops, Father Yahweh. We give them double honor this evening, Father Yahweh. We love you. We thank you for all those that are going to join us today, Father Yahweh. And keep all those that are safe, that are coming this way, Father Yahweh. Put a hedge of protection over them, Father Yahweh. We love you. We thank you for all that you do. We ask that you just be with us through this night. In your son's precious name, Yeshua the Messiah. Amen. Y'all may be seated. Uh, I'm going to also read a scripture coming out of Psalm 51. Amen. For it is written. Yes. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. All right, saints. Okay, um, just want to thank Yahweh for this night. Y'all yeah. may be seated. Uh, we're going to wait for the next bishop to come and speak. But I just want to thank Yahweh for the many blessings. Brother Paul? He's a young minister. Do you have any words, Brother Paul? Young minister? <laughs> Amen. 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 All right. We can all stand and rise and receive our brother, our youth minister. Yeah. Paul, Brother Paul. Gloria, Gloria. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Y'all may be seated. Amen. Until a, a bishop get here, I'm going to you know, just give words of exhortation. Hallelujah. But uh, truly, I just want to thank Yahweh for allowing me to make it here uh, thank this you, night. Uh, Amen. I just want to thank y'all for the words that came forth from Apostle Washington Sunday. You know, I'm glad to have him back here. But truly, yes, since I was, uh, it's a good night to, a good evening to be here. Yes, you know, uh, y'all, y'all uh, have allowed us to, you know, to wake up this morning to see another day that wasn't promised, and right. and even allowed us Hallelujah. to go through our day and protect us over the dangerous roads and highways, Amen. and allowed us to make it here tonight. Yes. And I just thank God that He has kept me, over, kept me and my family safe over, you know, thank over you, over the day. And I also just want to thank y'all for the beautiful wife that he's blessed me with. Yes, Lord. She is truly a blessing unto me. Yes, Lord. And I truly don't deserve her, but you know, Yahweh has, has saw favor, has saw favor and blessed me with her. Yes. Amen. <laughs> but uh, I'm, That's not, right. I'm not going to you know, go too too long here. I'm going to go ahead and go to Romans 12. Hallelujah. Amen. But uh, thank Yahweh, thank you, of course, Yahweh. for you know the for the scriptures. You know, I was, uh, when I was at work today, of course, I was... Uh, Witnessing to my, we're kind of like talking about scripture, of course, with like with my uh, with coworkers and my boss per se, and so like they was just talking about different things, and then they was just talking about how like how unique it is, like how how the Lord had had orchestrated the universe, the earth, and everything like that. Amen. And I and I went, and I was able to you know conversate with them about Amen. that, and I was saying, yeah, I was like yes, because you know y'all, because Yahweh. Yahweh is is, is uh, his ways are, are past finding out yes, uh, for us to th to even think. Amen. I said, but like uh, like I was saying that everything that he does is for a reason, yes, yes. and like us to like us here tonight, we are here for we are all here for a Amen. reason. We all have a purpose to be here, Amen. and uh, and then it was one uh, when he was telling he was telling me uh, a little uh, like a little story about him when he was younger. He was talking about how like how. Um, like when he used to watch a lot of horror movies, and when he was talking about the horror movies that he would watch, he said when he'll go to sleep, he said that it would like kind of scare him. It was kind of scare him to sleep at night. So he he was like he tried to call on like the Power Rangers or or something that he used to watch to, like that would help him to try to go to sleep. But then he was like he tried all that and he said it didn't work. So he said he, he called on you know he said he called on Jesus or God. And he said, then all those scary images that went away. And I was telling him, I said, you reminded me of that scripture when Elijah was, uh, when it was in Kings, when it was taught, when Elijah was going against those that was 
trying to prove that Baal was God and not Yahweh. And I told him that, I said, uh, when, he, when he had them to call on the false God, you know, of course they cried out, but they didn't, but nothing happened with them. And as soon as he called on Yahweh, you know, he struck, he struck, and it showed a sign that, that he's real. And so, I, of course, I'm just thank God that I'm able to, you know, at least continue to, to show a light at work. But I see that Apostle Hurley is in our midst. I'll go ahead and turn it over to Apostle Hurley. So uh, let's all stand back up and receive Apostle Hurley by saying praise the hour. Thank you, youth minister, Brother Paul. Amen. Amen. You can all be seated. I thank Yahweh for all things. It's a blessing yes, to be in the church of Yeshua Amen. Messiah. Amen. 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 The pillar and ground of truth. Amen. And I uh, had to throw out Brother Paul's new position. Because, you know, when a young person <clears throat> gives themselves over to Yahweh, Amen. Yahweh sees it. Amen. And uh, and will show favor to that person. Amen. Amen. So it's real important that not just brother minister, I'll call him Minister Paul. How about this? Amen. Not just Amen. him, but everybody else, including myself in church, that we would just all strive to be true Hallelujah. and upright men and women of Yahweh Amen. so that we can all grow in grace. We can all be made perfect. Amen. We can all be used as instruments for, for the work of the ministry and for salvation, being Amen. ambassadors of the Messiah Hallelujah. so that the Lord can beseech, meaning beg, the world through us to join us, as they say. Join us. Come on in to the way of holiness. Amen. You know, come, come and taste Yahshua that he's gracious. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all praise and glory. And, you know, even though we're a small band of brothers and sisters, you know, some may people even call us a ragtag group, you know, they, they'll look at us from the outside and say that they don't think or they don't see much when they look at us. But let's be real. They're being blinded by Satan. They don't realize they can't look from the outside looking in and see perfectly clearly. But it is our duty to shine brighter and brighter unto the coming day of the Lord. Amen. If we continue to draw near to Yahweh, he'll draw near to us. And he will make our light brighter every single day. So when you first come to church, that person you know may be a big time skeptic of you. But if you just keep on going, they'll slowly start to realize the differences that are, that are in you now that you've been born again. Amen. They'll, they'll stop being blinded by the past, what they think they know about you. Yes, Amen. 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 Some of us have fallen even since we've come to church. Amen. <clears throat> and the devil will try to use that so hard yes, to make you quit. Because he wants you back. He, don't, he doesn't like the fact that you even started serving Yahweh. And he sure doesn't like the fact that you went back to the Lord. Amen. So he wants you back. He wants to be your daddy. Amen. Amen. He wants you back. So he's going to use every tool in his arsenal to try to discourage you and get you to go back. Amen. Hallelujah. And he uses the biggest thing that Satan uses is other people. Because we're made in Yahweh's image, we have so many faculties. If he can get in you, he can really use a human being as his most powerful tool to discourage other human beings made in Yahweh's image. To uh, stop serving him and just quit, just give up. And they don't call him the diabolical one for nothing. I say he's a, I wrote a, a song about Satan, the subtle serpent. I said he's a trickster, a word twister, the subtle serpent. He said he's only got one goal to deploy, steal, even though you, I say one, but it may have subsections. Steal, kill, and destroy. 
That's his one goal. Steal, kill, and destroy. He's out to get you. Amen? Amen. You got to do what you got to do, right? Right. To uh, make sure that you stand in that evil day. Sometimes it means you might even have to separate yourself from fellow brothers and sisters who aren't walking exactly the way they need to. Of course, we know there's reconciliation in Yeshua Messiah. So you always, once you get yourself strong, you do exactly what Yeshua said to Peter. He said, when you're converted, you get back to work. Strengthen your brothers. Amen. 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 There's no such thing as permanent separation. Except for those that are bound for the lake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's give Yahweh thanks and praise for another opportunity to be in his house tonight. Thank you, Father Yahweh. You've been so good to us. We don't deserve anything from you. Lord, we we owe everything to you. We don't owe anything to anybody but to love, which is what you've taught us. To love one another. So help us to drop all of the other stuff that Satan tries to get in our heads, Lord Yahweh. And let us draw near unto you with a with a pure and a true heart and full assurance of faith. May you rebuke Satan out of the minds of the hearers tonight so that they can hear your pure, unadulterated word tonight. In Yeshua's holy, precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and turn to Hebrews chapter 11. Amen. Amen. The people that are here tonight, I'm glad to see you. Hallelujah. Those of you that might be watching on Facebook, we, we send our greetings to you in the name of Yeshua Messiah. We hope and pray that you have safe travels and whatever you're going through tonight. If there's a reason why you couldn't make it, may Yahweh be with you and uh, and give you, as they say, what do they say, traveling grace. Amen. Favor on you. Help you to be safe. Amen. Amen. It's a lot of stuff. Satan, he, he, he's got he's got a lot in his tool bag. Oh, yeah. Try to get us to be late for service oh, yeah. over and over again until we get used to being late. Yeah. He try to put things in your life to help you get used to not being in church Amen. before he truly tries to pounce yeah. like that roaring lion. Yeah. Let me get them to where they're used to not being in church. Amen. Just start with a few minutes late. Now let me put some scenarios in their life where they're 30 minutes. At first you were upset about it. Now you're getting used to it. Now I know that there's no sin in learning how to be strong enough to where you're not tossed to and fro by everything you go through in your life. There is a certain maturing that you can come to in Yeshua Messiah where, where you, if you're late, you're just not throwing a fit about it. But you're, you're calm and collected about it. But it's all, and you know that your flesh doesn't care. You know your flesh is, can never please Yahweh. Hallelujah. But there, there's just that fine line. You've got to be careful that you don't get duped by the devil, yeah. tricked into a less holy, less righteous way, Amen. and find Amen. yourself getting desensitized Amen. away Amen. from what Yahweh has called you to do. Because we all know how we got strong. We got strong by what? Concentration. Amen. Sanctification. Amen. Right? That's how we got stronger. Amen. So we got to know how to know ourselves and know how to possess our vessels. Amen. But we know that faith is really important in this. We're going to have to not lose the faith. Amen. What does it say? Hebrews 11 and 1. Read. Hebrews 11 and 1. For it is written. Yes. Now faith is the substance of things now hoped for. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. So it's... You, you don't have anything when you hope for something because it's not there yet. You're hoping for it. Amen. So your faith is the only thing that's like something you can hold on to. Amen. Your human body is designed to hold on to beliefs. Your mind is designed to hold on to a belief as if you're holding on to a hammer. Amen. You know, I'm not going to lose my tool. Amen. Amen. This faith is all I got. I'm not going to lose it. Amen. Have you ever lost your tools? You're like, I can't believe it. I use these every day for work. How did I misplace my hammer? How did I drop? What? I use my screwdriver every day. Some of us have had jobs where we've had to use certain tools every single day. Pastor Bibbs used to uh, do lawn service. 
What would it be like Pastor Bibbs was lost his lawnmower? Amen. You can't do nothing. You got five jobs lined up. You can't do any of them because you don't even, you misplaced your lawnmower. Amen. So how do you think you're going to do the work of the Lord misplacing your faith? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you're anything like me, Satan, uh, uh, Yahweh allows Satan to come and buffet me. Amen. He comes and tries to make me lose my faith. Amen. He'll come at you hard. How hard? Hard as Yahweh lets him. Amen. Yahweh and Satan have some talks. Yes, we read about it. Yeah. Yahweh and Satan, would they have a little powwow and decide about what can and cannot happen to you? Yeah. You can do this, but you can't do that, Satan. Go ahead and get them. Now we, we don't want Satan to be able to touch us at all. Amen. I hate it when I go through stuff and I have thoughts that are contrary to what I've been taught. <laughs> and then my fleshly mind is like, that sounds right. The thought Amen. you're having right now. I'm like, but I know I, I've been taught different at church. Amen. Something about that flesh, it just cannot be subject to the law of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you're in that, you're in that mode. What should I do? What should I do? Grab your hammer. Make sure you don't lose it. You gotta have it. You can't keep serving Yahweh without faith, so you can't let the devil come and trick you. So what I did over the years, I learned that I cannot go by the thoughts that run through my head. Amen. Now, what does that do? Does that completely uh, paralyze me? Yes and no. I mean, you got to learn how what you have to not do and what you will do Amen. and should do. Amen. So it's not like you can't believe anything that comes to your head. You just got to remember what you're taught and don't do the stuff that you were taught not to do. Amen. Amen. Proceed forward with all the stuff that you were taught to do. But the problem is, is when Satan, the enemy, comes in like a flood, you can't, at the flood time, a traumatic experience like a flood, you're not thinking about what you're going to get at the grocery store. The, Satan tries to come at you in a way where you can't remember all the stuff you've been taught. Amen. So overwhelming, you forget it. This is so much. This is a flood. It ain't time to think about what I've been taught. Well, actually, it is. Amen. This kind of flood, it's time for you have to remember everything that you've been taught. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You may not hear one thought in your mind telling you to do what you've been taught, but you still know. We still know what's right to do. So that's when it gets so bad that you don't even really barely even hear Yahweh's voice in the midst of the devil talking to you hard. Right, right, right. But then you have to tell yourself, no, I know what I've been taught. Amen. I'm not doing any of this mess. I'm gonna resist you, Satan, steadfastly in the what? In the faith. Steadfastly in the faith. Amen. Resist him in the faith. Read. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Read. The evidence of things not seen. Yeah. You don't see any of it. All you got is the fact that you believe it. Hallelujah. That's all you got. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't see heaven. No. Oh, but I still have to believe it. I have to believe it's there. Yes, Yahweh. You stop believing that there's a reward for the righteous. What's going to happen? You're going to stop being right. Amen. Amen. The second you think, oh, this is a waste of time. Amen. Why did you believe that? Amen. You lost your faith. Amen. You, you decided that you, you don't have enough evidence Amen. to keep on believing what you're believing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you got to look for the things that the devil's not telling you to count as good enough evidence. Yeah. Amen. 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 You got to start changing your mind Hallelujah. as to what is enough evidence. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your faith is the evidence. Amen. 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 But what do you believe? Amen. So it takes you back to your faith. Because anytime the devil can really sway you and make you uh, want to give up, you have to examine your faith too. Amen. It takes you full circle to back to your faith. What do I believe? 
When I heard the word, did I only understand half of it, but was satisfied with the half I understood? Amen. Why are we always blaming everybody and everything and blaming God for all of our sorrows and bad times and problems? And why can't it be the fact that you were half listening in church? Amen. Our failures. Sometimes we get corrected. And sometimes the Spirit says something like Yeshua told to his disciples. How long do I have to be with you? Amen. That hurts. Amen. You trying to tell me I wasn't really hearing what you were saying when I was hearing it? Amen. Yeshua said, yeah. Paul said, yes. Amen. You're dull of hearing. Yeah, you were here. But you're on this level. I told you a hundred things. And if you understood them all perfectly, you'd be all the way up here. But for some reason, you only leveled up from here to here. Hallelujah. It's because you weren't hearing right. Amen. So, so, so your, your faith and your trials and tribulations and your temptations and everything you go through and your failures Amen. is Yahweh proving to you that he was right all along. It loops you back. There, we're, we're trapped in church. We're prisoners of the Lord. There's no escaping Yahweh because we don't understand. Because we failed and we feel like what we were taught wasn't good enough and did not work. Oh, no, sir. It was that you didn't hear right. It's that you weren't applying your whole heart. It's always going to be that. It's never going to be that Yahweh lost. Our prophet Jenkins already told us that uh, Yahweh is what? Infinity and O. He's never lost. It's us that we need to reevaluate. Reexamine our faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a lot of eyes everywhere. Amen. Read on. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Yes. The evidence of things not seen. Uh-huh. For by it the elders obtain a good report. So Paul, <clears throat> in Hebrews right here, is talking about it. In a way, and he's telling you, you know, you can look at the elders, right? Amen. And in this particular scene, he's referring to the elders that is written in the scriptures. Okay. Uh -huh. He's saying the elders obtained a good report. Like who? You know, the ancient ones, the elders like a, like a Noah and, and Abraham. And, Amen. and you know what I'm talking about. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, those elders. Amen. But, you know, you can also learn a lot from living elders. Amen. Amen. Like Apostle yeah. Standifer, Prophet Jenkins, Amen. Apostle That's Washington. Good. We can learn so much yes, from them. Yes. And even you sisters, Mother Ray Ray, yes. Sister yes. Kathy, yes. Uh, yes. Mother Washington. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. We can learn from them. Amen. That's uh, it, It's the scriptures and the living elders Amen. that are in church. Amen. 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 You can learn something from Elder Jimmy. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Problem is, in our lives, a lot of the time, we're way too busy with our own thing. We've got our own thing going on. You, you don't want to learn from the brother who almost committed adultery and ruined his marriage, but recovered himself. And Yahweh saved their marriage. Amen. You don't have your mind on finding out about those things Amen. from your brother, your elders, who have many a story to teach you Amen. that would help keep you out of trouble. Because when they tell the story, you're going to be like, that's me. I thought that. I felt that. It will save you Amen. from many a snare. Take out a little time to talk to Mother Effie. I mean, give her enough time to get a couple of stories out. She got a lot of them. Mother Effie, you've been through things, haven't you? You've, been, you've got a lot you'd love to impart to the younger sisters. Amen? Don't, don't let the mothers, uh, the elder, elderly mothers, sit around feeling unfulfilled because you're just too busy with your life. Making mistakes all the time. Not raising your children exactly the way Yahweh wants you to. Not, not loving your husband exactly the way Yahweh wants you to. 
They got some stories. We've had mothers in here who have lost children because they didn't hearken to the spirit. And but <laughs> you're just not taking serving Yahweh seriously. And Yahweh is not pleased. Amen. Think about it. Just a little talk with somebody who's been through what you're going through. Yes, Yahweh. Either they're going to tell you, let me show you how I fixed it. Or they will say, well, it was too late. Don't do what I did. But I had to stay in church and fix it even after tragedy took place. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Think long and hard about these things. Faith is not a joke. No. It's not a funny thing. You know, Amen. You know, this is not a kid scripture. Amen. You remember, uh, remember brother Joseph, little Joseph? Uh, whenever <laughs> I believe Apostle Diaz took him to work with him, you know, and, and the, little, the, the, the lady behind the desk was like, oh, you're so cute. You know, I got some, some I know some scriptures. And Jojo was like, why Psalm 2? Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? And, and, the, and the lady said, why don't you teach your kids some kid scriptures? There aren't any. There aren't any kid scriptures. Hallelujah. So sometimes we need to Stop just glossing over what we're reading and take it seriously to heart and realize that whenever we play games with our faith, I mean, look, I'll be the first to say, I had so much doubt in the past that they nicknamed me Doubting Thomas Amen. back in the late 90s. And I've wrestled with that many times. Here being in the faith. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you, when the devil comes to try to make you doubt, you can't stop him from talking until Yahweh tells him to stop talking. Amen. 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 But he has given us what we need to rise up, stand up, and have faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It can't be that you hear the word and, and you're all tore up while you're here and you instantly leave church trying to pacify and satisfy yourself yes, Yahweh. and forget about what the word said until the next service. Amen. Amen. There's no growth in that. That's right. There's no salvation in that. Amen. Amen. You got to take every single millisecond of your life seriously. That's Praise Yahweh, because Satan Praise is not going to stop trying to destroy your families, brothers. Amen. He don't want you to be able to take your headship into the family. Uh -huh. So Satan's not going to stop, sisters, trying to make you usurp authority over the man. Amen. And particularly your husband. Yes. He's not going to stop trying to destroy our marriages. Yes. To the men, to the women. Yes. With the parents, with the children. Yes, Lord. He's going he's gonna to do every single thing he can to try to destroy you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read on. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Yeah, because they obtained a good report. Your faith, he's talking about the elders' faith. Yeah. By faith, they were able to obtain a good report. Yes. The good report that I have today is because of my faith. Amen. Amen. The devil tried so hard That's right. to make me lose my faith over the years. Hallelujah. And boy, I'm telling you, he ran me through the ringer many times. But I stood up and did the only thing I could do to prove that I'm a true believer. Is to stand up and be a believer Amen. and walk by faith Amen. and show my faith by my works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why in other in, in other scriptures it says, I believe it's James, it's just you don't have to go there, but it's saying that you're saying that you have faith without works. Now, you can't even show your faith. Hallelujah. You have to show your faith with works. Amen. I'm going to show you my faith by my works. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the devil, had, it, I don't ever read about um, if you resist the devil, he'll flee from you for the rest of your life. Amen. Amen. No. Amen. 
Yeah, you, I know, because whenever you first come to church, you're waiting to find out how's this thing going to work because it's Amen. new to you. Yes, you come to church and you're saying, okay, okay, I come. I heard the gospel. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a big pill to swallow. Okay, I'm a believer. I believe it. Uh, are we done? Hallelujah. You know, I feel pretty good right now. Is it going to stay that way? Amen. No. The devil's coming at you. He's coming for you. And the very next, the next thing you know, it can be minutes after you come to church. Minutes after you get baptized in the name of Yeshua Messiah. It can be minutes after you receive the Holy Ghost. He's coming at you. Amen. To destroy you. And then you go through that. You won't, let's say you were almost quit. Let's say you had some moments of doubting, some moments of stumbling. You pulled yourself back together. You you got yourself straightened out. You came into the congregation of the upright as a faithful believer. Guess what? It ain't over. Amen. He's going to keep on doing it. Amen. Satan is allowed to come at you over and over. And that is how it is as a believer. Amen. He leaves for a season. You got to be careful thinking that you're more than you really are. Because you're never what you think you are. You're never what you think you are. You're always what Yahweh knows you are. And he's always orchestrating to get out of you the thing that's in you that you don't even know is in you. You're going to have to navigate that whole entire journey by what? Faith. Hallelujah. Not by what? Look at y'all. Read on. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh. We understand that by the word of Yahweh. How do we understand that? Because we've read the scriptures. Amen. Genesis chapter 1. You can read Genesis chapter 1 and don't believe it's true. You'd be like, he made the stars? First he made day one, and then he made the sun on day four? I'm confused. Hallelujah. That'd be like, some people, that'd be enough for people to stop serving Yahweh. People quit serving Yahweh just because of that. I'm trying to tell you, look, Yahweh can do that. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yahweh can do the thing that you don't think he can do. Yeah. So don't let that stumble you up. Yeah. Some people stop believing in Yahweh because of that. Some people stop believing in Yahweh because they don't think their marriage will ever work out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be something. Yeah. Yeah. They don't think they can ever stop drinking too much. It's going to be something that the Amen. devil tries to use to get you to quit serving him. Yeah. Amen. They don't think they can go through the world not being cool like the rest of the world is. Amen. Like they get tired of being around sinners because they their flesh likes the way the sinners are living better than you like the way you're living in church. That's enough for some people to stop serving Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Some people run off to live their best sinner life, and some people stay in church so that they can live their best secret sinner life. With a plan to slowly incorporate evil into the church. Very nefarious. That means bad. Wicked. Deceitful. Amen. 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 Don't you know you may start out thinking you're not that guy? And you can become that person. In church. I know. I've been tempted with all of that. Satan may have you on the wrong path for a couple of weeks. And then, then he, he'll, he'll say, okay, you don't think my favor is that important? Slap. Yahweh slap. Deformed child. Slap. Death in the family. Slap. Lost your job. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm up for a possible promotion type thing. 
slap don't get the promotion. Amen. Amen. Now I know good and well to be y'all. I, I, listen, I got my heart ready to say Yahweh gives and Yahweh takes away. Yeah. If I don't get the position, am I going to examine myself? Yes. Amen. I'll be wondering. Yes. Was, was I was I did I lean to my foolishness, Lord? Did I lean to weakness? Amen. You know, you know all things. Sometimes Yahweh will shut you down for a good reason. Sometimes he'll shut you down for a bad reason. You better have it in your heart to give thanks. No matter what it does. You didn't let me have that job I wanted. Maybe I don't need that job. It might be because you did something wrong. It might not be because you did something wrong. Either way, you better give thanks to the Lord. Because if you don't, that is a prime indicator. That you are not right. Not even a little bit. When things happen to you and you get all out of whack, yeah. prime indicator yeah. you're not as spiritual or strong yeah. as you thought you were. Yeah. And just because you give thanks to Yahweh doesn't mean you were right either. Hallelujah. Yeah. Nothing is ever over with one action. Yeah. Except for you dying and you getting cast into the lake of fire. But today is the day of salvation. Today is the day for us to examine ourselves deeper before it's everlasting. If you're not careful, you take on that mind of, I have arrived. Yes. <laughs> all that and apostolic chips. Yes. All of that. Yes. Biggie sized. I'm all of that. Yes. It don't matter who you are. Yes. Yahweh knows. Yes. Yes. And you know why he, he'll fix it? You know why he'll deal with, deal with you and anybody else in church? It's because if he lets you stay that way and lets everybody in church think that that way is okay, you'll conform to it and he can't have that. Hallelujah. He won't. He's not going to allow his flock to be led astray by anybody. Not me, not you, not anybody. So that's why the scriptures say that if you think you stand... Take heed lest you fall. Yeah, <laughs> and if anybody knows something, they claim they know something, they don't know anything as they ought to. Amen. That's not telling you that nobody knows anything. It's saying that it's possible to think you know things when you don't know things. Amen. 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 So we come in here, we hear Yahweh speak through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yahweh blessed us with yes, Apostle Yahweh. Washington. Amen. Yahweh blessed us with the uh, bishopry. Yes. Yahweh blessed you with women supervisors. Yes. Every single one of us growing in grace. Yes. So you can look and say, that's what growing in grace looks like? Amen. That's what that's what a human being is capable of whenever Yahweh humbles, when somebody humbles themselves under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that's what it looks like? Amen. So none of us can say uh, I can't do this. Yahweh will bring in the worst of the worst into here so that you'll say, if they can do it, I can do it. I don't think I'm anything. I don't think I'm anybody. I think I'm in here because I was low. Very low. Lowest of the low. But look what Yahweh can do to you. Look what Yahweh can do with you. Look how Yahweh can bring me right back to him if I don't have my act right on. I thank him and give him praise tonight. Or, do you thank him and give him praise tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Read on. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Do you still understand that or have you decided you don't want to believe that anymore? Because believing that is a, is a big time motivator to get yourself right. That you believe that there's a God who's powerful enough to speak the world into existence. It's a pretty big motivator to get yourself right. Amen. To me, it seems really easy to believe that a God who can speak things to existence with his word is able to create a lake of fire to put me in. And we're talking about a, a forever lasting, spiritual, beyond this world lake of fire. I can't even make a puddle of fire. I, 
I don't even have I don't even have the know-how or capability capability to make, build myself a stock tank and make it turn into fun. That's how small I know I am compared to this God I'm talking about in the scripture. So that's why I think about him all day long. My meditation is on Yahweh 24-7. All the time. Amen? And it also motivates me to act like it more. Because of all the wisdom and knowledge and things that I've seen and accrued over the years, if I don't give myself over to Yahweh enough to where I lead a life that is more grave, as they say, serious, then I won't even be able to help any of you young brothers and all of you sisters, all you brothers and sisters. I won't even be able to help any of y'all. I'm aware of that. I've experienced it when my words fall on deaf ears. And instead of getting angry with you, I have to examine my own self and wonder why you're not listening to me because of some of my failures. And not even that, not even, not always even sins, but just things I've allowed myself to do that made me appear weak, sinful, or evil, even when they weren't. And it made me remember all the times Apostle Washington has tried to make us do on a put us on a very straight and narrow road. <laughs> yeah. It's so that your words have effect. When you're trying to help people. So that they won't just brush off what you have to say. So some things I've learned instantly, apt to teach, quick to catch on. Other things I've learned through some process of failure and as you get older Yahweh takes your strength away makes you feel like that scripture when it says some trust in horses some trust in chariots some trust in their youth because I'm young I still got some years you go to the doctor and realize your blood pressure is sky high they call it the slow killer, but whenever it kills you instantly, it ain't that slow. Amen. Your life is over. Amen. Amen. So I examine myself. I think about these kind of things. Whenever things happen to me in my life, I don't. I, I, the devil tries to come and try to tell me to lose my faith. But Yahweh tells me this is to make your faith stronger. All things work together for the good for them who love the Lord. And I do love the Lord. I don't even need anybody to tell me. I know I love the Lord. The devil tried to bring you down so low where you'll doubt whether you love the Lord. Don't get in, give in to that devil's voice. Stand up and be a true person who, who proves to himself that you love Yahweh. Amen. That you, you prove to your brother and your sister by showing them love according to as we've been taught. That you're a true servant of Yahweh and Yeshua Messiah. Amen. You can't just talk it. And that's the reason why so many of us are silent. Amen. You know you can't just talk about it. But you're not ready to do it. So you just fall silent. Amen. Amen. A whole bunch of silent th saints thinking they're more righteous than everybody else because they've fallen silent because they, they know they shouldn't even open up their mouth because they're not living anything. But the devil will use your silence and try to tell you that's holiness. It's not. Silence is not holiness. Silence is you faking. Me coming up here and playing my guitar real hard and singing a loud song without holiness is faking, just like the silent person. There's more than one way to be a phony in church. You try to hide yourself by shouting a lot or hide a lot by shutting up a lot. Yes, sir. That's like um, whenever uh, something's going on and you're going, we fellowship and you got your mind yeah. Looking at everybody else, making yourself more holier than yeah. everybody else, yeah. and wondering why everybody else ain't reading their Bible like you. You're putting on a show 
When in all reality, the reason why you didn't join in is because you don't have any input. Yes, sir. I've been there. I've been there. Instead of being holy, watching too much Netflix. I've been there. Didn't have any input. No input. Too many video games. I've been there. Amen. 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 Some of us fall silent because we have a do still have a conscience by the grace of God, and somebody speaks up and says something, and you know you said the exact opposite yesterday. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 Somebody should have got encouragement from you, but instead you spoke idly. Amen. You just said whatever came to your mind, and you said something crazy. Because the devil likes to t trick us into saying stupid, foolish, yeah. crazy stuff Amen. as opposed to holy, righteous, good stuff. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every single one of us who's going through a hard time, that's the time you have to be the most careful about what you say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Having trouble with your spouse? That's when you're gonna that's whenever you're tempted to say something like, I don't even care anymore. Yes, I've had it. Yeah. Right, right. When in all reality, you do still care and you haven't had it. So quit talking. Everybody whose spouse is left, you're tempted because you're lonely. I hate them. I don't need them. Lost my desire for them. I don't hate everybody, but I hate them for sure. Amen. Who fixed your mouth yeah. to feel comfortable enough to verbalize such things, even if you're playing? Amen. The Bible says you'll come back after you say something ridiculous and say, am I not in sport? Am I not just playing? Hallelujah. Amen. Raise your hand if you've ever been there and said something foolish and then the Holy Ghost talked to you and said, you should never say that. Yeah. You shouldn't have said that. You only yeah. said it because you're weak and don't you ever say it again because you're harming my flock. Amen. Amen. Read on. By faith, Abel offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. So Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice. Okay? So what we can apply that to ourselves is, is that it does matter what you do. Yeah. You can't just come to church and say, I'm on autopilot. The Holy Ghost is making me perfect. You know, I have preached message and saying it's not really you doing it, it's the Holy Ghost. And that's true. But if you're not careful, you'll lean to that in the wrong way. Yep. And you'll stop trying to be better and say, if I ever get better, it's going to be by God. You're foolish. Hallelujah. That has never been what any of us bishops have ever tried to tell you. We tried to tell you that you should strive for masteries. We tried to tell you you should love them with all your heart, soul, strength, and might. You should get up every single day and want to be better. Amen. It's the desire that Yahweh's given you to realize that He's God. You're not. He's magnificent. You're nothing. You don't want to be you anymore. You want to be like Him now. Amen. You want to be like Him. You're sick of doing you. It's time to be like him. And the good examples that we have in church, we have them. It's a great cloud of witness, scriptures and living saints. I know if you do exactly what Apostle Washington does, you're going to be just fine. Any problems that have ever come upon me is because I didn't do what he did. I know that there's a time and a season for all things. I know that, you know, uh, We've been given liberality, freedom in here. And then, uh, you know, say, but the Bible said, but don't use it for a cloak for your sin or for maliciousness or anything like that. So there may be some situations because I've been around Apostle Washington and some of us are way too tight with the spirit. Amen. We don't know how to follow it. 
so that whenever something new comes up, yeah. you're so stuck on what you thought you understood about the Holy Ghost that you can't even listen to the Spirit that was given to you. The Holy Ghost was, is already trying to tell you what to do in this particular scenario. And you can't think outside of what you've experienced in the past that we have to come and and we've never gone through what you're talking about either, but we know how to follow the Spirit. Some people do. They know how to follow the Spirit. Amen. So a new scenario will pop up. You're able to apply the principles that we've been taught by Yahweh through Apostle Washington, and we're able to come up. Plus, we have the living Holy Ghost in us right now, Amen. and it tells us the path to take. Because there's going to come a time where you're not going to be around any of us, even in 2024 with smartphones and all of that. And the spirit of Yahweh is going to expect you to be uh, prayed up and fasted up and concentrated up enough to be able to make a judgment call on some stuff Amen. without just not knowing what to do all the time. Amen. Because we take things the wrong way. We go to extremes. We wreak havoc on our families when we don't understand. It's very crucial and important that we learn how to become spirit-led by the spirit that we claim to be filled with. Hallelujah. That whenever you do come to us because you do want to be wise and you do want to be on the right path, you'll be able to say, I feel like the spirit of Yahweh is leading me to do this. And don't you know, we're all going to say, Amen. That's right. It happens. It's possible for you to have already figured out what to do, but just to seek counsel, come and check. Do you have faith in this? But there's also times that no matter how much of an understanding you have, when you get to Apostle Washington or one of us, we're all going to know that what you said is good and right, but Yahweh may give us a icing on the cake. Yes. To add to what your wonderful, great intentions of Yahweh already were. Amen. So we all got to learn how to be willing to flow and yes, go Yahweh. with the Spirit. Amen. 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 That's right. Takes faith to do all that. Amen. Can't lose your faith in the middle of a hard trial when you don't know what to do. Amen. 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 Have y'all have ever been there? You just faced with adversity, with the problem. You're just not sure what to do. Sometimes Yahweh puts it in there just so you can remember your place in church. That you don't have all the answers. You know, the children don't always have the answers. They keep on trying to go around the parents. They just won't listen to the parents. The parents keep on trying. The wife keeps on trying to go around the husband. Won't listen to the husband. Husband keeps on trying to... Go around the deacon. Won't listen to the deacon. Amen. Amen. Deacon tries to keep on going around the bishop. Won't listen to the bishop. Yes. Amen. All Amen. the different levels of the bishop. Keep trying to go around the higher bishop. Won't listen to him. Yeah. I've been there. But I'm not staying there. I'm going to learn from every single thing I go through and continue Amen. to grow and become better and better. Not giving myself excuses to be the way I am, but always growing in grace and learning how to change and become better. Amen. If I can do it, you can do it. It's important that you don't leave any small foxes around your vine. Because the small foxes destroy the vine. Amen. 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 The little tiny things we're still leaving in our life, which keep on messing us up. Amen. It's those little things we want so bad we won't get rid of out of our lives. Amen. That's why we can't progress Amen. Hallelujah. in the Spirit. Yes, Lord. Amen. Read on. By faith, Abel offered unto Yahweh more excellent sacrifice than Cain. We go back and read Genesis 4. We know that's the truth. He, he's, not, he's not off track. He, he didn't misread what he read back in Genesis. It was clear as day. Yahweh had respect unto Abel's offering, but unto Cain he did not have respect. He even took time down to speak to Cain. Yahweh spoke to a sinner and told him, look, if you do what's right, you're going to have respect. But if you don't, sin is at the door. I mean, it's already there. 
You're not doing right if I don't respect you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So anytime I come to church, whether I've done wrong or I haven't, when I hear the word go forth and it's not mentioned that I did good or mentioned that I did right, whether I feel like I've already done right or not, I'm going to try harder to make sure that I'm doing right. Turn over stones. Keep searching. I ain't going to spend my side time defending myself. I'm going to spend all my time bettering myself. Striving, striving, striving for mastery. When the devil tried to bring negative evil thoughts to me about any of y'all, I say, Satan, I'm not wasting my time. I know this is not supposed to be my meditation. I rebuke you. I got better things to think about. Amen. 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 The Spirit will always come around and say it's backsliding season. It's not lying. Amen. You've been thinking about giving up just like everybody else thinks from it when it's that time and when it's that season in a person's life. Everybody goes through those seasons. Amen. But think real long and hard about what you're walking away from and what you're thinking about walking away to. If it's not a good trade, don't do it. And it's not. What are you going to trade it for, weed? What? Hey, you liked weed back in the day. You go back and try to smoke some weed. They made it too strong. You die. Bad trade. You don't know any of those people that sold you that stuff. Yeah. Not only might they be, they not, they're not, they're new, the new kind of modern day hippies that like to kill people. <laughs> like Charles Manson. You never know when you're going to run into a serial killer. Yeah. It's dangerous out there. It's not a good trade. It's not worth giving up on Yahweh for for sin for a season. Moses looked and he said, I'm the prince of Egypt, basically. This great position of authority and all of this uh, wonderfulness that I have in my life here in Egypt. He said, I'd rather leave and suffer with Yahweh's people. I would rather defend this Israelite from this this, uh, uh, Egyptian. Amen? Amen. And run for my life. I would rather run for my life than stay in Egypt and live in sin and pleasure. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm, I'm telling you, I'll be looking in the mirror and seeing all these grays. And I just don't feel like I used to. And uh, I know a big part of it is not so much that I'm terribly old. I'm just unfit right now. I don't get a lot of exercise. And I know that amplifies my age. I am aware of that, all y'all people who think I have a complex. (laughs) Lots of people tell me whenever I talk about fitness or health or weight, they make an immediate judgment. They feel like they need to counsel me and set me straight. You don't have a problem. You don't need to do anything different. I'm glad you think I look good. I don't always look good. See me on some bad day. <laughs> every single one of us expands and contracts every day. Sometimes in the middle, you don't look so good. You look better than on some days than other days when you're less puffy. And sometimes you look good when you're puffy. Sometimes you look too puffy. And, and eventually, this flower fades. Amen. And uh, I'm just giving you a little bit of insight yeah, on my life. Believe me, I don't have a complex. I understand. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I'm just saying that my unfitness, because I don't walk around like I used to. It used to make me feel real good. I, I, it makes me think about death. I look around at the people, who, the elders whose muscles are atrophying. That means they go going away. And uh, I know that my end is going to be the same. I cannot trust in my youth because it's a fading flower. Right. Better not mistreat these youngins. They're the ones who's going to take care of you. You might have an issue. You might hurt your leg. They're going to change your diaper. 
And you need to understand that this is the church. This is your family. These are your brothers and your sisters. You better love them. You better treat them good. You better not disrespect everybody because you're having a mid midlife crisis. Amen? This is your family. Sometimes family gets mad at each other. But you make up. You get over it. Right? Read on. By faith, Abel offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, uh -huh. by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. We all want that, right? We all want Yahweh to say, okay, we don't know. None of us wants our brother to be Cain, you know, or Cain it for you sisters. We, we don't want bad things for our brothers and sisters, but if somebody going to be the evil one who did wrong and Yahweh's unhappy with it, I'll let it be you. I don't want, I don't want it to be me. I want to be saved. Amen. Amen. I don't want it to be anybody. I'd like it if we could all be saved. And I, 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 I want Yahweh to get through to me. I want him to slap me around if he's got to. Get my attention. Straighten me out. Pull me together. Help me. I don't want to be lost. I don't want to burn in the lake of fire. I want to be saved. And while I'm here, I want to be a blessing to y'all. I want to be somebody that y'all can say, I love Apostle Hurley. He's a good person. And I'm not trying to be like that. Young rich ruler, you know. Yeah. Why you call me good and all that? No. So it's, it is okay to call people good sometimes. It's time of the season. He said that to him because young rich ruler was used and calling him good masters to butter him up. Yeah. But Yeshua had some words for the young rich ruler. There's some things you're lacking and you calling me good ain't going to stop that. So I'm going to say, let's just say only Yahweh is good right now. Let's forget up all about that because Yahweh's about to tell me what's wrong with you. You need to listen. Amen. And that's what, that's a big part of coming to church. Amen. Hearing what Yahweh has to say about us. Yeah. Humble us. Help me, Yahweh. Help everybody. Help us. Humble ourselves and be able to receive what you've got to say about us, Father Yahweh. Amen. Read on. Yahweh testifying of his gifts, uh -huh. and by it, he being dead, yet speaks. That's right. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Read. And was not found because Read. Yahweh had translated him. Read. For before his translation, he had his testimony, and he pleased Yahweh. Well, so we know that, yeah, we know that Enoch left the earth in a very special way, right? Just like Yahshua. Yeah. Right, but he pleased Yahweh big time. Enoch did. Amen. I mean, Yahweh was real happy with Enoch. Okay, so he made, he did something special so everybody else could see. I'm really pleased with this one. Amen. You know, it's foreshadowing Yeshua, but it's for us, for us to read about. You know, and before he left, I want you to know why Yahweh did that great stuff for him because he pleased him. Amen. 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 Okay. So maybe you didn't please him at first. Okay. You're still alive. Amen. There's a chance for you to please him. Amen. And, I, and I'm telling you, you may not get just translated. You, but I'm telling you what Yahweh's got in store for his saints is just as good as translation. Amen. It's just as good. What Yahweh has for us is just as good. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't think for a second there is no reward for the righteous. I'm talking about true humbling. Not let me humble myself as much as I have to to fly under the radar. That's our mindset is, is, is mortal men and women. I don't want to change unless I absolutely have to. And I can, if I can get minds under the radar, I'm going to get minds under the radar. They always said you ain't getting nothing and my radar is so low. Amen. Amen. It's no place my radar doesn't see. So saints, let's walk with a true heart. And realize how serious the uh, faith is that we have been taught and learned. Let's keep it like a precious pearl. Amen. Amen. Let's walk uprightly, continue to love our families and love our neighbor as ourselves. Let our light shine out in that world and keep on working on ourselves so that not one of us, I don't care who we think we are, so that we're not accidentally lost in that last day because we thought we were something. Amen. 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 If we keep working on ourselves, we're going to be a big blessing to everyone around us. Yahweh's going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. I love you, saints.
Yahweh bless y'all in the name of Yeshua Messiah. At this time, we're going to be further in the service. I'll give y'all legs a break. Let's all rise and receive. I believe it looks like Apostle Stanford. <clears throat> Let's rise and receive it by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Thank you, Yahweh, for the words came out of my mouth from Apostle Hurley. Amen. Always on time. Amen. Words are right, true, all by themselves. Yeah. And we're just going to pick up where he left off at. Amen. Amen. So the truth of the matter is, we all like faith. Jesus. Yes, Lord. You know, but that we have to believe the word. Amen. Amen. Washington, who most likely is out working. Amen. He's definitely set an example for all. I have to thank Yahweh for my wife, for my children, my grandchildren, my grand, great grandson. You know, Yahweh, he has been good until the standard for family. That's why I'm still standing here today because he is a good God. Amen. And we, we can't just pick up where he left off at. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes. Hebrews 11 and 6, for it is written, mm -hmm. but without faith, it is impossible to please with, him. Without what? But without hey. faith, it is impossible to please him. Don't you know, along this journey, saints, we, we have to mix faith with what Amen. we need. That's right. The, the word come across and it say many things to us. Yes, Lord. How, how we are to be on our jobs. It takes faith. Yeah. You have to mix faith with what you hear. Amen. How husbands are supposed to love their wives. <laughs> You're supposed to mix faith with what you're hearing. Amen. And then you go home and you apply it. Amen. Yeah. We, we, we told um, uh, Kalis, Brother Kalis, what he had to do concerning his wife. Yeah. We say, son, you can't go home and preach to her. Because he had to mix faith with what we're saying. Yeah. Because it's, our, it's in our nature, our flesh. Yeah. We want to make people right yeah. when they're not right. Yeah. And, and we feel like we can force them yeah. to be right. Amen. Amen. Had, had a brother wanted to, he wanted to have a, uh, and see, I learned this along my journey because I was one of those ones. I heard the word, and when I when I heard it, I said, "Everybody else better be doing it." Oh yeah. Like we force everyone to do it, but it's saying unless you have a made up mind, you have to have a willing mind to Amen. do That's this right. thing. Yeah. So the brother he said. You know, I, I, I was wanting to have uh, a brother's Bible uh, uh, reading tomorrow up at the church, well, today, at church at 8 o'clock. He said, would it be all right with you if I do that? And me being a bishop, I, I have to weigh things out. I say, it, it's good. I say, but I want you to understand this right here. If, if no one show up and it's just you and another brother, be happy. Amen. Because That's what right. we'll do right. is now we'll deem everybody evil that didn't show up. Amen. Unspiritual minded because they didn't show up. You yeah. don't know what's going on in people's lives. And that's what we have to understand. Amen. Right. Amen. We don't understand everybody's condition. That's right. Well, well, maybe they were not being spiritual minded. Didn't want to do that. Yeah. But don't Amen. be a judge. Be their wife. Yeah. You go ahead and you go up there and you read. Amen. You, you do what was placed on your heart to do. As long as it's according to holiness. That's right. Sometimes we do things just to, for, for a show. Yes. And, and that, that, that goes back to what Apostle often say. Yes. We all walk in a vain show. Yes. Believe me, I've been there while I call meetings. And, 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 and I'm, I'm really looking for certain people to show up. The other people show up, it's like, eh. <laughs> You, you wait, no, this, this, this person and this person to show up. Then, then, then you've done something because they're there. And, and see, we can't do that. That's walking in a bad show. That's right. Yeah. And, and I had to learn that over the years. And the pastor, he's still preaching it to this very hour. That we can't get upset at what people do. People make foolish choices. And believe me, there are times I, I, I have to fight my flesh. My flesh want to get mad. Why did they do that? Why did they say that? Why did they go do that? Amen. 
And I have to remember, I, I'm not in control of nobody's life. Yes. You make mistakes, you make them on your own. Yes. Again, we give you the words of Yahweh. Yes. And we have to make sure that we're walking according to. It's like Apostle often say, I'm not going to go to hell for nobody. Yes. I'm not going to find myself getting upset, getting out, all bent out of shape. And, and just get in your face and ask you why you ain't right. Why, why come you don't never listen to what Apostle telling you? Amen. Well, I wasn't listening to what he was telling me if I'm doing that to you. And, and that's how we, 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 we weigh things out by the Spirit. But the Spirit has given all of us that we We just have to slow down and mix faith with what we're hearing. Amen. It says without faith, Amen. it's impossible to please God. Yeah. Amen. But we, we have, have to slow down and hear it. The words that come across the pulpit. Yes. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. It, it's impossible. A uh, apostle, he goes to Mexico like he do. But that's by faith. Yeah. If he didn't do that, it, it would be impossible for him to believe, uh, say that I put all my trust in Yahweh. Amen. And, and, and be scared to go because he don't have nobody to translate. Yes, Lord. He said, Yahweh, I, I preach faith to everybody. Yes, Lord. Okay, now it's time for me to walk by faith. I'm Amen. just going to get on this plane. And I don't know nobody sitting beside me to speak in English. Yes. I, I'm fixing to get off and I'm going to board. And I don't speak no Spanish. Yeah. But by faith, I'm going to do this right here. Amen. But Yahweh always makes a way. That's yes. right. Amen. And even, when, uh, even when he was left alone in Mexico, didn't have no translate at all. Uh, Apostle said, y'all just pray. And what did Yahweh do that same, that very same night? Sent a English-speaking Spanish yeah. person to translate the word for me. Uh -huh. and, and see, through his faith, he made me, it increases my faith. <laughs> That's right. To make me move by faith even more than what I would normally do. Amen. Because yeah. it said we gotta walk, walk by faith Amen. and not by sight. Amen. If there's some things sight causes us to stop. Right. Ooh, a fear. Yeah. Of failing. And we can't be uh afraid to fail along this journey. Amen. Right. Amen. Because it, it'll stop you from going moving forward. That's right. If the spirit say uh it, it's mainly talking with a lot of the Spanish right now. Don't be afraid to get on there. Even myself, I'm, I'm examining myself today. Yeah. Amen. And I saw a pastor get on there and he spoke a couple of words to him. And, and I had to talk to myself. I say, what's stopping you Amen. Amen. from doing that? Yes. Part of it is fear of, of saying it wrong. Right. You know, we get embarrassed when we say something wrong and somebody say, oh, you know, you said that wrong. You said, and it wasn't... It, I actually said something completely different than I should have been saying. Yeah. But I'm allowing fear to stop me from even yeah. doing it at all. Yeah. Yeah. And right. I, I examined myself today yeah. and I said, Yahweh, give me this. Help me with this mind. And the thing is this right here. By faith, I just got to do it. Yeah. Just have to perform it. Yeah. That, that's how we move by faith. It's yeah. just by performing. Right. Yeah. I, I, I want to take time out because I do get on there. Want to take time out to thank y'all wait for Mother Mary. Yeah. Mother Mary, she's always on there. Yeah. Want to take time out to thank y'all wait for uh, Brother Willie. Yeah. Brother Willie is always on there. Yeah. Uh, Mother Torres, yeah. she, she, she's on there. Yeah. Uh, Sister Selena, she's always yeah. posting the Spanish songs yeah. on there. Yeah. But if, if I didn't care at all, I, I wouldn't even go on there and look at nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But my heart is with them that's in Mexico, yeah, just like yeah, Apostle's yeah. heart is with them. Yes. I, I'm praying for the work in Mexico. Yes. Yes. I, I still do my part by being here, yes. by uh, the fundraisers and everything else that we do. Yes. I'm going to do my part to make sure the work continues in Mexico. Yes. Yes. But again, I can't get on there and say out of bounds say Yahweh. Yes. Yes. And, and to the ones that I do know. Yes. Yes. But, but, uh, Brother Carlos, yes. Sister Daisy, yes. Brother Jonah, yes. and, and, and there was a, a sister, I think that was a husband, they got on their son, yes. and I think that's who Apostle was praising Yahweh with. Yes. But I mean, we have to take time out to at least try. Yes. Yes. Amen. But, but without faith, 
It's what? It is impossible to please him. You won't do it. So, again, it's, it's, it's a lot of Spanish people in here. That should be on that. At least saying, praise Yahweh. Amen. Just so that they can see your face. Amen. Amen. That, that, Amen. Knowing that they're not on this journey alone. Amen. It's just Amen. not that black man that's teaching us Spanish people. Amen. That there are other believers that believe in this Amen. thing. But read. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder it's of them. He that comes unto Yahweh. See, when I first came in, I had to believe. And, and see, during the process of time, I was uh, uh, listening to Psalms before I came to church. And, and there was something else I was watching. And that person was making a lot of notes when they were reading. This was part of the Psalms and that they're writing. And, and, and I, I reflected because if we don't remember the former days, we'll get away from Amen. being that person that Yahweh has called us to be. I, I remember taking the notes, looking up certain words, getting deep off into the book. Now you get to a point where you feel as though you know it, but you really don't. If any man think he know, he know nothing as he ought to know. That the something that we preach 10 years ago, we're not preaching that. Amen. 15 years ago, we're not preaching that. So we don't know as we ought to know. The Spirit is showing uh, uh, more love because there's a lot of things that saints, you do that ain't nowhere in the world. 15 years ago, you'd have got away with that. Uh, Y'all heard of uh, Pastor Children's, the, the Texas Hammer? That was thing, if you were doing the wrong thing, the, the spirit reached out. Pow! Stop that! Amen. Brother, get your mind right. Amen. Still saying it. Amen. But in a more merciful, merciful way. Amen. But if you know your mind ain't right, he's talking to you. Amen. But back then, your name would get called. Oh, and and that, it, it's, it's funny. The flesh is like that. If we put on the spot, we'll, we'll straighten up immediately. If we put on the spot. But when the spirit just generally talks and talking to everybody, it's like well, my name wasn't mentioned. It's like uh, Pastor Hurley was saying, you're flying under the radar, so to speak. But you wasn't because the spirit called it. It just didn't mention your name. There have been times I sit over there and the spirit called my name, but it didn't call my name. A <laughs> father heard him say that they would just let you ruin your life <laughs> because you, you won't listen. Right, right. Because, and that just it, it might now I'm gonna say it in a kind of way. <laughs> the, the, the spirit can't make you do anything. So by saying that about that, we can't make you do it. So all we're gonna do is preach the word. If we say, husband, don't commit adultery on your wife, and you go out there and you commit it, you just ruin your own life. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and your wife, you're not, you're not listening. Right. Amen. It's a husband, love your wife. If you're saying love your wife, that, that means don't commit adultery. Right. Don't be lusting after other women. Right. What, what do it take? Yes, well, when it says husband, love your wife, what other revelation do you need? <laughs> To love your wife. Amen. Yeah, thank you. And, and, and if you only do it because we yelled at you, we took you in the back room and just got on you real good, that's only going to last for a season. Oh, yeah. I've seen that happen among the brothers. Yes. We, we, we get on you, and you do it for a season. But again, we watch your wife long enough. We yeah. see what happens. That's right. Okay, he don't want to thank his own ways again. Yeah. Yes. You know, we talk about husbands being romantic. But I, I thought Apostle said, all right, y'all to grow past that. <laughs> you, you, because, uh, because he'll say stuff like, he'll say stuff like, uh, the spirit will say this right here. I'm not wrapped up in Valentine's. I'm not wrapped up in birthdays. Which we should be. I'm not, I'm not wrapped up in birthdays. 
Valentine's, or any other day to be romantic. Uh, being sweet. But again, you hear that and you say, well, that spirit said, we, we, she had to get over that. She, I'm more spiritual minded now. No, you just, you're not listening. You don't want to do anything. That's right. You're not very sweet to your wife. Your wife is wanting this from you. But you won't hear what the Spirit is saying. So you don't do anything. Don't you know? See, if you really watch the man of God, uh, should I say men of God, how they are with their wives, what they're actually doing with their wives, you see the time that they spend, the, the, all of that stuff, all of us are different in our own way. I'm a, as far as uh, family time, I, I love my family. And so, to me, uh, 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 a good day is my whole family gathering. I spend the spiritual time, quality time with my children, my grandchildren, great grandson. Uh, yes. I love that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have to go uh, skating, and yeah. Yeah. playing basketball, and doing all yeah. of that yeah. stuff. I'm, I'm fine just taking it in yeah. because yeah. I know one day I'm going to be gone. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, the, the time I can spend with them now to, so that they can get to know their grandfather, yeah. their yeah. father, yeah. 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 now's the time. Amen. Yeah. But see, yeah. a lot of people won't take time out to do it. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Man, just so caught up in themselves. Yeah. You, you ought to always be thinking about others. Amen. If you were to ask my family, they would tell you. And you all know that for yeah. yourselves. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> How I am with my family. Yeah. Amen. But then I treat your family the same way. Amen. I, and grab your, as long as they're there, yeah. they'll pop me, me up. Do you feel left out when the family is there? Or do you feel like you're one of us? She, she's engrafted in. Now. Amen. Amen. She, she, so she get the same. If, if, if we have to rebuke them, she get rebuked too. Yeah. Uh -huh. if, if, the, if the young, if we see things in our young married people. Amen. Because uh, as a bishop and my wife as a supervisor, yes, that that time we get together and we say, well, we we want you sisters to start doing this with these sisters. Yeah. 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 Uh, showing them how. T tell them what you do for your Lord. Yeah. Uh, Jazz, how she always. Yes, Lord. Take care of me, Jay. Yes, Lord. Clothes be ironed. Yes. Food is cooked all yes. the time. Amen. Desiree do the same thing yes. for Ezekiel. Amen. Yeah. Now we see videos because we have a family page. Yeah. yeah. We see meal, cooking meals for Paul. Amen. Earning Paul's clothes. Amen. But you need to share that with the other sisters. Yeah. Y'all need to tell them what y'all do towards y'all Lord. Amen. Let them know, husbands. Let them know what y'all do for your wife. Yeah. How you make them happy. Yeah. That's how we strengthen one another. Yeah. 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 It'll go along. Jo Jonathan need to know that yeah. you buy your wife flowers. Yes, Lord. Yeah. You, you and your wife, y'all go on dates. Yeah. But y'all so quiet in y'all testimonies, yeah. nobody would never know that. Yeah. And that's what the spirit is talking about. We need more a test, a, a victory, a thing that yeah. how Yahweh is working in your life based on the gospel that's being preached. That's mixing faith with what you hear. Yeah. It's more to it than I thank Yahweh for my wife. What, yeah. you, what, 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 what she do? Why, why are you thanking Yahweh for your wife? How are you showing your appreciation yeah, for your hallelujah. wife? Now your wife, when she thank Yahweh for you, she'll be able to say what you do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sister Desiree, she's always saying, my husband, he's a, a, a good father. Yeah. She said he's a hard-working yeah. husband. Yeah. Every wife can't testify about that yeah. like yeah. that about their husband. Yeah. They can't do it. Yeah. Because they, they husband won't line up to what the Spirit is saying. Yeah. Yeah. Say, put away the game, but you're still playing. Uh, be on time for your job. Still uh, being late. Yeah. Amen. Spirit wants you to grow up. Mix faith with that. Amen. Mix faith with that. Grow up. Yeah. Become a man. Quit being a child. Let, let Timothy play your game. That's right. Let, let, let Ezra play your game. Amen. But but put it away. It's it's time to just put it away. For, even 
even if it's for a season until you grow up. But read. For he that comes to Yahweh yes, must sir. believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently sleep, seek him. Don't you know he is a rewarder Amen. to them that diligently seek him? Amen. When I first came in, I was diligently seeking Yahweh. Amen. I came in, marriage broken. So uh, you didn't think your marriage all messed up? You can't tell me nothing. Amen. I came in broken marriage. I, I want to divorce that woman. We were roommates. She wanted she wanted to divorce me. You that that have committed adultery on your wife or uh, uh, vice versa. We had to learn. We, we we done that. We didn't know Yahweh. We got to a point that where we didn't we didn't like each other. Our kids were the reason why we stayed together. But but we came in. We heard words for the very first time. For for. Teaches me how to love my wife. Yeah. I thought I was loving her in my yeah. own way because I gave her money. Here's money for the kids. You know, buy groceries, buy the clothes, but bring me my receipt. I want to make sure you ain't keeping no more money than I give you. And making sure that you're doing what I want you to do with the money. And, and see, I call that love. Some of y'all still do that. You call it love. Well, she get the money, but you take it back. You keeping some on the side. You don't really give her the whole thing. Does she really know what you make? Man. That would be the question. Does she really know what you make? You just come home and you just give her some money and say, baby, I'm doing what the Spirit says. See that? Spirit, call to your friend. Yeah. Here, Spirit say, give you all the money and you're going to keep 500 of them. And then going out buying games. Yeah. Uh -huh. Doing a little bit of stuff on the side. And Stuff the spirit don't tell you not to do. Yeah. Amen. But you, again, time to grow up. Amen. Going back one step to what you're saying, like you got two different kinds of husbands and wives. You got the kind that have a whole lot in common with one another, and you got the kind that don't have a lot in common with one another. Uh, you have some husbands and wives where the wife just hates the game, hates when you play basketball, hates when you do this, hates when you do that. And you got to do what you got to do to make your marriage work. But with the others, you got some that want to play that video game with you. They want it. They're just as immature as you are. And so that with that, you got to get the Bible out and put the game down with your wife. And, and I'll say, if, if you have a just balance, yeah, exactly. then it's fine. Yeah. A, a just balance. Yeah. Because we don't want to make you feel just completely condemned right. of those that have that mixture. Yeah. Yeah. Like DJ and Jazz, when they play the game sometimes. Yeah. But I can also uh, uh, testify to this one here. They be in their room reading the Bible yeah. together. Yeah. 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 So they have a, 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 a just balance yeah. of, of what they did. But the, the thing is, what he's saying is we don't want to find ourselves... Uh, we're so at odds with one another. That's why I don't like, we don't have nothing in common. Man, my wife don't have nothing in common. But that don't mean anything. But, but, but at the same time, we do have something in common. Me and my wife, we're bounded through Yeshua the Messiah. Everything that we do is on behalf of Yeshua the Messiah. Our bind is the work of the ministry. That, that we love the ministry so much, that, that is what binds us. Yes, sir. According to the money, I give Mother Mary all the money. Amen. It goes, she knows my uh, pin number, she knows everything. That's right. Amen. She'll say, How much? Do you have any money? I said, No. But here, let me give you my, I don't need money. Amen. Amen. I said, Why? You will hold it together. I, you, you're my she money. Take care of it. <laughs> I need to buy something. You have your papers. You got the money anyway. Amen. But there's times when I tell her, no, I don't need money. And then we'll go out and say, she say, don't you have any money? I said, no. You got it. Is it have you seen the wallet? I said, no. I said, well, you need to check. Because I put money in there yesterday. Amen. I really don't need to carry money because we're always together. He's got the money. So actually, I have the money with me. Yeah. <laughs> See, elder don't matter. That's wisdom. Yeah, that's right. That, 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 that wisdom. 
Because they're always together. Amen. But that, that that's a blessing. But see, he's only doing what the Spirit had instructed yeah. him to do. Amen. He, he could have came in and said, hey, I'm, I'm of age. I, I, I know what I got, and I give her what she needs. He could have came in and fought the spirit, but he came in and he lined up with what the spirit was saying. Amen. I had to line up with what the spirit was saying. Yeah, believe me, when Apostle preached that message, that he give his wife all the money again, y'all heard me. I said, the message was fine, good. I loved everything that he was saying until he said that. Give, give all, all. Now, come on now. Do it take all of that? In my mind, I'm saying all of this right here. Do it really take all of that? Until I became obedient to what the Spirit was saying. Amen. Believe, that's why my marriage is, is a blessing now. Amen. It, 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 it didn't take me a year to line up with what he was saying. It only took a message or two for me to line up and see what he was saying. See, because I wanted to experience what he was experiencing. Yeah. I, I wanted a virgin's wife. But you got to pay the cost. Uh, Paying right. the cost meant to give up the money. Yeah, man. So I paid the cost to get what I got. Right. Uh, right. Husbands, pay the cost. Yeah. Man. If you really want that virtuous wife, you got to pay the cost. Yeah, that's you right. Know, that's a lot of things you you give up. That things my wife like to do, I don't like to do, but I go do it because she like it. Right. And vice versa. Yeah. Movies that I watch, she don't care for. And that movie that she watched, I don't care for. But there are times we have our moments where we're on the couch together. It's black and white. I like color. It's old and romantic. Well, I want something blown up. I want to see something running and moving. That, that's how opposite we are. But, but we have Yahshua in common and we know what it takes to make a man. So we take time out. I said, okay, I, I'll watch this movie. That's right. And she watched something with me. Uh, the, uh, I don't always go see all the movies that I like to see. Uh, there, there have been times I went, and then, and then I'm wise. Uh, baby, call Sister Kathy. <laughs> call Mother Wash. Mother Wash is I heard her say she won't see that movie. <laughs> She's not getting it. I want to go with you. She want to go with me, then I'll go. But there's something, uh, that's how I get around. I say, well, there's oh, sister so-and-so. Sister Gayla, she, she loves Red Lobster. But then there are times I go to Red Lobster, and I just order what I like. I don't care for Red Lobster. But we got to do what we got to do to make one another happy. That's my point. Yeah. Read. Right. By faith, Noah being warned of Yahweh yes, of sir. things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his home. And, and, and see, we, we hear this right here. And you think about that. I, Noah, Yahweh just told him what was going to happen. And he had to move by faith. Regardless of what people were going to say about him. That's right. Don't you know I've had family, friends talk about me serving Yahweh, thinking that we might uh, uh, brainwashed and all that kind of stuff. But when you compare my life with their life, see who's the most happy. I am. Who, who have peace? I do. Who, who have blessings? I do. When they hear me talk about my life, my family, and it's always it's because of Yahweh. That's the reasoning that I give them why I'm happy like I am. Amen. And all they can do is talk about how hard they work. <laughs> all the material things that they have. Yeah. Well, I don't have all of that. Yeah. I don't even have a, 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 a nice car. I don't even have a car. <laughs> but I do have a car. I got a lot of cars. Whenever I think about it, Amen. some new, some old. I have truck. Amen. The thing is, the love that the, the, the saints have for us, all I do is ask anybody for their keys. Yeah. The other day, uh, I, I had to do a delivery. John Jr.'s truck was down. I went to my other son. I said, Prophet, I have something I need to pick up. 
uh, can I buy a truck? He said, well, I'll be getting it out at a certain time. He yes. said, you're more than free to use it. Amen. But I didn't have to use it. Uh, the, his truck got fixed. Mm -hmm. Well, he got back earlier from the run, and I was able to go ahead and get my job done. Amen. But all I had to do was ask him. Amen. And he said, the keys, he don't let me use the truck a minute time whenever I ask him to do it. Uh, the the hurdles. So I'm saying that to say this right here. Say he take things that we feel as though we don't have. Yeah. And he'll try to burden us down yes. and make us feel bad about this. Okay. But I, this, I, I have a body right. of, of, of people that love me. Amen. So I never like when it comes down to food. Amen. Never like when it comes down to finance. Whatever it is. Yeah. Thank you, the body is always there to help. Amen. And you quit letting the devil tell you that the church don't love you. Right. Yeah. 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 That's just a lie. Amen. The question is, do you love the church? Right, right. That's what you should be asking yourself. Hallelujah. Exactly. Because the church do love you. Right. Amen. The things might not be going right in your life, but are you being obedient to the Spirit? Right. you got to ask yourself these questions. Amen. Amen. That's what the Spirit is always telling us. Examine yourself. Amen. When things are not going the way that I want them to go, I examine myself. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I, I, I might not be doing the right thing. I might not be saying it the right the right way. Yeah. That's where examination come in at. Again, I talked about the Spanish thing. Hide behind the excuse of fear. Y'all always straight made me see myself. Yeah. Amen. Are, are you really being honest with yourself yeah. when it comes down to things like that? Amen. Amen. I'm not saying I'm gonna be on that every day. But I will say this right here. You will see my face on it. And, and the only way I'm going to prove it is just to be on it. Read. By the which he condemned the world yes. and, and became heir of the righteous. Amen. Which is by faith. Which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when, when he was called to go out unto the place which he should, after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing where he went. Now we're hearing about. Uh, no, we hear about Abraham. The, the, Yahweh is telling them to do something that they just don't, they don't see. Right? Yeah. Abraham, leave, leave your family, get get away from your kin. Yeah. And, and I've told some of you that was in love. Get away from your kin, but you had a big faith. Amen. Is it easy? No. But is it doable? Yes, yeah. it is. Amen. Amen. Look at Abraham's outcome. Right. He was blessed. Amen. By mixing faith with what the Spirit asked him to do. Amen. Yeah. He became the father of faith. Amen. We, we, we are the sons of faith like Abraham. Amen. Amen. Do you have faith like Abraham? I'll offer up your child as a sacrifice. Yeah. See, some of us, Amen. we spoil our children. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit, Spirit says, sacrifice that. Oh, no. You want to let them live? Amen. Amen. Believe me, saints, when I say this right here, when we came in, a, a pastor, he's, he's a man that walked by faith, led by the spirit of Yahweh. And there's a lot of things I come in, Colonel, didn't understand. But seeing the outcome, I begin to understand. I mix faith with what he said. I don't allow my children to be around their kin folks. Yeah. Well, don't you know we had to do the, mix the same faith because the same kin folks? Yeah. Our kids were kin too. Right. <laughs> and and, and like, they, so we said, okay, y'all can't be around Mario them like that. Cree uh -huh. Cree came to stay with us. If she was here, she could tell y'all some stuff. Yeah, yeah. How we were with them. Uh -huh. That's why she left. Yeah. Because she said y'all were strict. <laughs> oh yeah, she, uh, going to school, we go up to the school check. Yeah. She wasn't dressed right. Guess what happened? Uh -huh. We didn't spare a rod, Amen. and she wasn't even our child. Yeah. We didn't spare a rod. Cody did, did, was it spare? <laughs> Tisha was it spare? They, they got discipline. We checked on my kids. We didn't take them at their word for nothing. The pastor yeah. said, I don't trust my kids. I, uh, well, I trust my kids. How, how you going to speak opposite 
Because he's trying to get you to see something when he say that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I, I trust my kids. Yeah. I thought I trusted Cody. <laughs> Tisha, she was mischievous. Yeah. John Jr. was too. Yeah. But Nicole, she was the one that played with the dog and, and, and all the girly stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so, they trust them, they got kicked out of six flags. Yeah. And, and I'm trusting her so much, they got kicked out of six flags. And, 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 and if she really ain't supposed to go back. Uh, she got kicked out permanently. <laughs> but here she is sneaking in with other kids. Uh, at the store, Hall, Rachel, Abel, Kamiko, Thieves. So you really trust your kids. We didn't know they was over there still. But 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 they were Nico uh, uh look out. Uh, uh April one of them was the lookout, making sure nobody saw them uh stealing the So don't don't tell me well I trust my kids. Well there's something wrong with you then. John Jr. Uh, so, so did, did, did you do this? Because that was one time they were young. Uh some woman that we knew in the world, they came up to us and said, we saw John Jr. at a club. We asked John Jr. He said, no, I wasn't there. Why would this lady yes. come to us and lie and say you were there and you saying you wasn't there? I said, I believe her. I don't believe you. <laughs> and, and I said, but I'm going to tell you this much right here. That's between you and Yahweh, Yahweh is going to judge you. I didn't get into no argument with him about uh, you lying and all no, you telling the truth. But did he get dealt with? He showed it. So some of you parents, y'all cowards. I said it. You cowards. Too, too scared to get on your kids about anything because you're scared that they're going to run off. Well, let, let, what are they going to run to? Look at the logic behind that. What are they going with? John Jr. tried to leave. Tisha left. Guess uh, what? Before midnight, she was back home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she went to was uh, you went to the park, Pete? <laughs> Is she here? I think she went to the park. But before midnight, she was back home. It's like what? what it's getting dark. It's dark. <laughs> She's trying to scare us now. She's uh, up in age now. She's about 17 years old. Think she's going to teach me and my mama a lesson. Because even at 18, they, we didn't let them get away with stuff. Uh, coming to church, come, sneeze, Cody. I said, uh, girl, come on. We didn't play that. Uh, Matters. Do your mama play? Uh, DJ, you 24 years old. Do your mama play? That's uh, uh, probably why he said, DJ, you scared of your mama? Uh huh. <laughs> but it's a respect scheme. Right. It's not a crazy yeah. scheme. Right. Right. It's, it's a respect. Yeah. They're holy because she get on him yeah. whenever he's not doing the right thing. Yeah. Even yeah. right now at the age of 24, yeah. if the boy ain't talking right, she get on him. Yeah. Yeah. Our kids don't get away. That's right. That's right. right. Do you get away? Don't you know we even correct our own daughter-in-law? A granddaughter-in-law? It comes with the back. I'm not saying she did this, but okay, now it's winter time. Some of you parents, then your kids, uh, it, it's cold out there right now. Some of y'all don't even have kids yet. Especially these infants. Don't even have nothing to wrap them up in. Yeah. I'm just going to rush and get them in the car. In the room. <laughs> Yeah, you'll do that all winter if we let you. <laughs> but, but, but we have AIDS mothers in here yeah. that love you enough yeah. that's going to let you know, get that baby a coat. Yeah. And we have some that have so much love and care for you that they went and bought your babies. 
yeah. jackets and, and stuff for them to put on because we don't want to see them come up sick. Yeah. Yeah. But you're going to have to mix faith with what we say. Your chat, uh, again, Tisha's not in here. Somebody get her because I need her to tell the truth. Because a lot of y'all not taking heed to what the Spirit is saying. The Spirit been talking of death a lot. Because of disobedient parents. Amen. Take heed. Right now, if you watch the news, they're talking about a lot of pneumonia that's going around with uh, from children from uh, six months up to about uh, four or five years old that's dying from pneumonia. Uh, Apostle Harry says somebody from their job just died from pneumonia. And, and so you come in here and take a deaf ear to what the Spirit is saying about covering up your child and all of that. Oh, they always try to put fear in your stuff. Okay, fool. Amen. You, you keep on, keep on. Of course, we're gonna put fear in you because the, 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 that's the beginning of wisdom. Amen. Tell your dream. Um, I had a dream. I didn't know the couple that was in the dream. Um. But in the dream, they had lost a, a child. The child had died, but they were crying and grieving the child. Um, and that's basically all that happened in the dream. But I didn't, I wasn't familiar with the couple that was in the dream, but it was a young couple that was in the dream. Amen. Now, now see, even a, a prophet Washington not too long ago j just preached a message about yeah. that. <laughs> Telling your parents how to raise your children. Apostle Stanford. Just because you can look up an article on the internet about how to raise your child in a certain oh, area, right. yeah. number one, doesn't mean that you pick the right article. Right. Number two, doesn't mean you understand the article because it can be conditional on a specific right. situation. Doesn't mean you understand it. So you really need to start coming to the elders and get with them and start stop doubting everything that we, we try to show you. Yeah. Because it says the age women are teens and young. Now, uh, baby, baby Zeke had a ranch. Guess what? One of the aged women told her to do: uh, get some powder, mix up some brown powder, put it flour, and put it on the baby's behind, and the rash go away. Well, I, I know what I'm doing. I, I'm gonna look up it on the internet, and I'm gonna get some cream and put it on. Okay, that baby, that, get that cream. That baby might be allergic to it, right. and, and the butt will be raw. And they be laying there asleep. Ah, and you're wondering why. Now you're getting frustrated. Now yeah. you're shaking the baby. Yeah. Don't you be quiet. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. You, uh, well, you had it. In, you, you actually had it in your cabinet. Yeah. But you were too proud. <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't even want to use it. But I think y'all wait for a sister Desiree. Yeah. Whatever we tell her concerning her child, she lines up with it immediately. Amen. No pushback. None of that. So I, I think Yahweh that she, Zeke, you have a, a humble wife. Amen. Amen. And I, I thank Yahweh for you, love. Amen. She's a beautiful granddaughter-in-law. I thank Yahweh for my granddaughter-in-law, Jazz. And what I love about Desiree is she take good care of that boy. Amen. You look at him and you know that she love her child. Yeah. yeah. She, uh, uh, virtue and her testimony. Yeah. She she take time out to make sure little Zeke have everything that he needs. Uh -huh. I look at his. Uh, I watch her with the bag that you bring for your child. Yeah, yeah, the boy you. have everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. He don't stink. Yeah. Uh, uh, plenty of diapers. Yeah. Plenty of wipes. Yeah. Stuff to make him smell good. Yeah. An uh, extra change of clothes, a uh, food, a jacket, just in case it do get cold. That, that's a mother that's thinking, that's considerate, that loves her child. What do you do for your child? How do you take care of your child? Believe well, me, that's the same way my wife, she took good care of our children. They didn't like for anything. And, 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 uh, I knew Apostle then when they would come around with Rachel. R Rachel was like a little dog. Uh -huh. They had her dressed from head to toe. That's one thing you always knew about her. She had on the little pretty ruffled dresses. 
with the little pretty hat on her head and everything. That Mother Washington, she took good care of her, her children. Uh, uh, Prophet Washington was dressed, Beret was dressed. They weren't running around with snotty notes. And if they did, uh, she didn't let it stay. Just like leave it. Yeah. So some of y'all let y'all kids run around here just know just and won't even try to wipe it. That's nasty. But I mean, I, again, I, I, the spirit knows all things. Yeah. We gotta care enough yeah. for our yeah. children. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, see, she just came from outside, and she had that baby in a jacket. It's cool yeah. outside. Yeah. I'm gonna be watching y'all tonight when y'all leave. <laughs> I'm gonna see what mothers really pay attention and what mothers don't pay attention. Yeah. Because if the age woman come to you, don't get mad. Just the next time when they see you, make sure your child have what it needs. Right. Amen. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise. Yes, sir. As in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with yes. Isaac and Jacob, Re the heirs with him of the same promise. Yes, sir. For he looked for a city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Through faith, also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child. And see, by, by faith, the Spirit told us she would have. She had to make she laugh. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes that's what you do with the spirit. Uh, uh, yeah. The spirit will tell you to do. <laughs> right, right. You, you don't know my. You don't know what's going on in you my life. life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, Mother Kevin. Uh, uh, when we were getting ready to leave uh, tonight and everything. <laughs> Uh, Dave Young got Naya's coat, so if Dave Young can do it, a father yeah. can do it, a mother sure oh, don't have no excuse. Amen. And that, that's so true. That, that's a father that's considering yeah. their, their children. Yeah. Thank you, Apostle Hurt. Apostle Hurt to say, Where is your natural affection? Yeah. Amen. Because sometimes we'll lose natural affection yeah. just being caught up in just <clears throat> not even thinking, just yeah. doing selfishness. And sometimes you can be so mad at your husband, you're not. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Through faith, also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child. And, and, and see, through faith, you ought to receive strength. Yeah. When the word go forth, uh -huh. you ought to receive strength from what's yeah. being said. Yeah. We, we got to mix right. faith with what we hear. Yeah. 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 Amen. Uh, again, the, the, this is what I would like to see among the brethren and the sisters. Let, let's get away from judging one another. Yes. Let's be understanding them. When things come up, believe what the person is saying. And you that, that try to get out of everything, be honest yes. with your neighbor. Say, speak the truth one to another. Amen. Mix faith with that right there. Amen. If you don't want to come, just put it out there, well, brother, not this time. Sometimes some of because some of you we, we told you spend time with your wife. Yeah. Right. Like like Paul right now. Paul don't need to be uh making plans with Brother Blake. <laughs> and he just got married to Amen. Sister Me. Yeah. Yes. Well me and Brother Blake, we're gonna go uh we're gonna go out witnesses, nothing wrong with it. But he just got married. His wife's gonna be like, well, baby. Later on, that'll be no problem. Amen. Because she's be on grown. Yeah. Be, be of understanding. Yeah. Because now you look at, well, Sister Ray Ray gonna get mad and uh, <laughs> we don't we come a long way. Yeah, man. But y'all just got that. Yeah. You don't need to be uh taking time out to start planning with Z, DJ. Uh we we gonna go uh we gonna go to the game room and, and forget all about your wife. Yeah. Y'all you having the fun. Yeah. Men gonna be looking at you like, uh, where you going, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then she'll have attitude with you, but you did that. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. Yeah, at this point, you y'all bonded, y'all yeah. becoming yeah. one flesh. Yeah. So, so yeah. don't don't make plans without your wife, and Amen. vice versa. Don't yeah. make plans without your husband. Y'all yeah. gotta communicate with one another. Hallelujah. You, you want to go to your parents' house? You just don't catch a Uber and go. <laughs> well, I know Paul wasn't gonna take me. <laughs> That's why the communication comes in there. 
Because see, we'll do things that just uh-huh. you'd be surprised yeah. <laughs> by not want to communicate. Don't want to have a, a conflict with one another. Yeah. So we'll get around about doing something off the wall, off the cup, so to speak. Yeah. So we, we can't do that. Paul did what the Spirit Apostle was talking to you, son. Don't, don't let nobody. He said, don't let your mom. And I got to say the same thing. Oh yeah. Don't let your mom. Don't let your daddy. Don't let your sister. Don't let your uncle. Don't let your cousins get in your way. Me, you got to say the same thing you love. No, I know that's your daddy. You love him and everything. But don't let him tell you some contrary. Than what the Spirit is telling you. Don't let your mama tell you anything contrary to what the Spirit or your brothers. Anything. Amen. If the Spirit said, do this toward your Lord, you do that. Amen. You, you'll save both you and oh, yourself. Yeah. Amen. Right. And, and standing on the word, believe me, people. Yeah. Why you think I, I have respect? <laughs> yeah. Y'all respect me. I know you do. Yeah. But again, I know the reason why y'all respect me. Yeah. You, you, you know that I'm standing on the word. Amen. And y'all yeah. see me striving to walk like a boss. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You don't hear my name in history. Yeah. My counsel is sound because I always think on him. That's yeah. why yeah. all the time yeah. I'm in the office. Yeah. Any counsel that he got to give. Yeah. I want to be there. Amen. 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 I, I, I want to make sure that I Good. give the yeah. same type of counsel. Right. Sometimes he'll change it up on me. Uh-huh. And then I, he'll let me know why he changed the right. counsel concerning this couple. Yeah. Might be the same situation. Yeah. Right. Same situation, but different people. Amen. Right. These people right here, they can't do that what the other couple is doing. Right. So he changes it up. Yeah. And so I, 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 I'm in there so I understand why. Yeah. Now I'm weighing out how you are. Yeah. I know I can't tell Pastor Bills the same thing I'm going to tell Jonathan. Right. 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 Jonathan yeah. might can't receive. Uh-huh. Pastor Bills, he's of age, he can receive it a lot. Amen. Amen. So the, the spirit, pay attention to the age man. Amen. That's why my, my grandchildren, I spend time with my grandsons. Ezekiel, DJ. Amen. Lord, Christopher. Yeah. Christopher, be wanting to know scripture. Yeah. What, what, what can I read? What can I study? Yeah. Amen. I call his grandfather up. Sometimes he leave me a Marco Polo video. Amen. And I'll respond to him the same way. Communicate. Amen. With, yeah. with my great grandson when he was in the, uh, his mother's womb. I, I always talk to him. Did, did I not talk to him that early? When he was in the womb. Amen. Then when he was born, I would sit on the bed and I would turn on this right here and we would let the scriptures play. Hallelujah. Trying to instill Yahweh in him out of Yahweh. Amen. That, that's what you have to find. Your t- I, I tell my grandson Zika to do the same thing. Love you, love you, son. Amen. And I see that he's a good father. Amen. And he's take, he takes time out with his son. Yeah. But again, he's getting that from grandpa. Man. He's getting that from his, his dad. Yeah. Amen. What are you giving your children? Amen. Man. And again, right. I got to say, I, I looked at Apostle, all the, the, the foundation that he laid. I'm just only coming back behind him doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. With my family, I, my family's still growing. Amen. So I, I, I still have a work to do. Right. Yeah. Amen. So you got to work, John. Son, I'm, I'm getting ready to sit down. But so we we keep coming to you. That woman, where she at? L- love her, Sister Samantha. You, you said, can I marry her? Spirit says it's a blessing. It's only a blessing if you don't make a curse. Amen. That, that means you got to do everything that the Spirit is telling you to do. Amen. Right now, it said, grow up, be a man. Y'all not children anymore. Yeah. When we counsel, I hear about your teenage years. Yeah. You're not a teenager no more. Okay. Put all that stuff behind. Amen. Yeah. 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 Love us like you see us do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You have us as a witness. Treat us good. Don't be mad at don't they say husband. Don't be bitter. Yeah. Yeah. So quit being bitter with yeah. it. She'll say and do things that you, you get mad. And then you start doing silly stuff. Spirit keeps saying, don't be like who? We say that for a reason. 
because we see a lot of him yeah. in you. Amen. Be like apostles. Hallelujah. Washington, Stanford, Curry, Prophet Jenkins. Yes. Do what we do. Yes. Your wife, she appreciates it. Love your children while you have them. Yeah. Because I, 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 I'm listening to the dream. Yeah. People that walk foolishly, they don't understand the harm that they do. I've yeah. seen over the years. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Riddle, he got up and testified about it. Yeah. This dog had a rash. Yeah. Went to the doctor. You don't know what it is. They didn't have a care for it until they were obedient to the spirit. Uh -huh. And then the rash went away. Right. Hallelujah. I, I, I've seen that among children that sick. Yeah. Couldn't explain it. Yeah. Even yeah. right now, uh, Prof, uh, uh, Apostle Diaz, he's been going to the doctor for years. Uh -huh. Years. Years. Yeah. Yes. And they still don't know what's wrong with him. Right. All he have to do is repent yeah. Yeah. and return to Yahweh yeah. and he'll be healed. Yeah. Amen. And if he ain't healed, at least he'll be saved. Yeah. But 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 believe me, that illness was brought on through disobedience. Yeah. Yeah. The question is, if you're ill tonight, ask yourself, is it because of disobedience? Amen. 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 I got five more minutes. I'm going to close with this right here. You know, I think on my mother-in-law right now. She's very low energy. And I can see her life leaving. She don't have a lot of time, but she's serving y'all. Yes. Amen. She's making sure that she's putting her everything into it. Yes, Lord. And we see that her age, but who's to say that your life is going to be there. Yes, right. Yes, that's right. I see a lot of young graves out there. Amen. Yeah. My, my brother, he was just 66 years old. My dad was only 59 when he died. Pastor Childers was, what, 54, 50, 54 years old? Yes. Elder Turner was 50 something. They, they, I'm saying that because they weren't old people. Not, not old people. But then we have some young people that died in the faith too. Yeah. So don't think because your age, you're going to be around for a long time. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right. There are a lot of dead young people in the oh, grave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Car wrecks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just freak incidents that happen. So yeah. true. We uh, got the autopsy on my brother, and they said his heart just gave out. He sit down in the bed, and his heart gave out. How are you going to live? Yeah. When the Lord called you, are you going to be right? That's that's what you really want. That, that's why I'm striving. So whenever I do give up the ghost, I know that I'm in Yahweh. You know, the one person we can speak of is the elder children. The way that he died, what we seen in him. When he gave up the ghost, people were still trying to turn him back to Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he stood on the word. Exactly. Even he was still serving yes. to, oh, yeah. until he died. Yes. Right. Yeah. Making sure that the saints were taken care of. Hallelujah. Amen. He didn't have gas money. Come to visit him on his deathbed. Yes. He want to know if you got gas money. Yeah. Right. Yes. So oh. his heart was in y'all yes. when he died. Amen. I question some of y'all love for the, the work of the ministry. Because if you really love the ministry, you'll be there for Apostle Watson. Amen. And whatever it is that he's asking of you to do, you will be there for him. Amen. Amen. My wife, yes. she cut those children, not because it's her cousin. No. That's far from it. Amen. She, she loved him as a man of God. Y'all yes. heard his testimony that she gave him a big hug. Yeah. It was cousin, I miss you so much. Yeah. Oh, it was man of God. Amen. Thank you for laying your life down. Amen. Being an example for our house. Amen. So she put love into those children. 
to, to the point where <laughs> apostles didn't want to share them with nobody. No, he did. But, but again, that, 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 that's what we got to do for one another. We should love apostle enough, uh, love him enough for whatever he's asking of us. That big old bowl. That, that big bowl my wife just held up. He didn't want to share that <laughs> because they were so good. But she cooked it with love. Yes, so whatever we do, we ought to do it all in love. Yeah. So whatever it is, apostle have asked of you to do. See that you do it. Amen. He asked some of y'all to go on the Spanish page and speak to the Spanish people. Yes. Do it. Love them that much and do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He said, love me enough to where whenever we are having fundraising, be part of it. Yes. 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 I think Sister Misty is going to be having a bingo night. Yes. Say, don't, don't, don't pull this attitude. Well, I don't like bingo. Right. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. this, if you love the ministry, I didn't ask you if you love bingo. Yeah. I said if you love the ministry, so whatever we do is part of the ministry. Right. Yeah. So if you love the ministry, you'll be part of it. That's yeah. right. I, I don't expect Elder Jimmy to come out if he don't have to. But if he wants to come out, we won't stop him. Right. But she said the cards are five dollars. Don't come there and say, why the car is so high? Uh, <laughs> it's a fundraiser. Yeah. <laughs> be, be happy to be part of the fundraiser. Man. And if you win anything, amen, hallelujah. If you don't, be happy. Yeah. So yeah. everybody's not going to win that night. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have the bank auction coming up. Don't, don't. Don't come here at, uh, expecting everything to start out with a dollar bid because it's not. <laughs> I was meditating on that today. I said it's going to start at 15 to $20. That's the starting bid. Because, again, it's for the work of the ministry. So even if you buy a cupcake for $20, you help the ministry. We got to quit looking at what we receive yeah, that's right. on the end yeah. and, and look at what it's actually doing, going for it. Uh, it. It's called giving. Amen. Not, not receiving. Right. So, yeah, it's better to give than it is to receive. So, saints, whatever it is that apostles are asking us to do, let's, let's do it wholeheartedly. Amen. Amen. Unto the Lord. Amen. And that's in all of the preaching that yes. goes forward. Let's do it with a, a open heart. Amen. Amen. This time, that's, that's it. Let us stand and receive you're going to like this, huh? Stand and receive Minister Paul. <laughs> Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. I want to thank y'all for the words that came forth out of Apostle Hurley and Apostle Jennifer. Pray that the words may.